five years ago today, Philadelphia was described as the city that bombed itself. Eleven people died when police dropped a bomb on a row house on Ogunst Avenue. The city was clashing with members of MOVE, a radical black back-to-nature group. NBC10 photojournalist Pete Kane was working that day and watched the tragedy unfold from the second floor window of a nearby home. This week, he described what he still calls a nightmare. I'm a lifelong Philadelphian, and to watch what happened May 13th, 1985, in my hometown, it hurt. Because it's something that I can't erase. And I stayed in the house for 24 hours. You know, um, that Sunday night to that Monday night, I watched the the water hit the bunker that was on the roof, the tear gas throughout the day, 10,000 rounds of bullets that were fired. To me, that was, that was a war. I mean, it was a war with a tragic outcome. When that bomb dropped and that fire got out of control, it was a, uh, it's a nightmare, still a nightmare. And to know that there were children inside 6221 Osage Avenue, and I never saw them come out. And that's the thing that hurts more than anything. That's what really got me the most. 11 people lost their lives. And six of them were children and five adults. And 61 homes burned to the ground. Um, and I think about it all the time. You know, I, uh, it's just something that'll never go away for me. It was a nightmare, and it's still a nightmare. It doesn't seem like 35 years, but it's, you know, it's, it's life, and it's just something you never get over. And Pete said when he left that house near Osage Avenue in which he was held up, he worried that he'd actually be shot in the ensuing chaos of that bombing and the fire. By the way, uh, Pete, if, to know him is to know just how deeply moved he was by this incident. Yeah. He's worked at NBC10 as a photojournalist for more than 45 years. He's been here a long time, and he's seen a lot of things. Well, today, yeah. 11 city council members issued their own apology for the bombing. They said this is more than a symbolic gesture. It is a starting point for conversations on reconciliation that can build toward a more just and equitable future. Those members also plan to formalize the apology with a resolution before city council later this year. Mayor Jim Kenney, though, has said the city will not be apologizing again. People are looking forward to the day when we can get back to normal. But what